Hi everyone, my name is Yu. I am a I am PRS PhD researchers um working on uh virtual realities and neural recordings in Desert Locus. My work is mainly about the neural mechanism underlying uh, behavioral contagion, so how one animal's behavior is perceived by the other animals. And then the way that I approach this question is to use uh, desert locus as a model, because they usually come as a batch and they usually you know, work to, with each other. So they got to be the way to um, kind of perceive others' behaviors and help them to you know, navigate in the, in the world. And um, uh, luckily, there are a lot of locus to studies uh, in our center, so I can put them into this virtual reality technique and make them to watch some beautiful uh, scene, beautiful scene here, and then to see how they respond to that. Yeah. So, what what would an experiment look like for? You? Yeah. So, a typical experiment would be you know putting a locus into the virtual environment setups and then present them you know, different visual stimuli for example their uh, locus partners or there's um, some arbitrary stimuli like uh, black cylinders, locus cylinders and to see how they responded to some of the stimuli and not others and using this uh, behavior assay we can try to understand how the animal perceive you know different type of stimuli and respond to that and then finally i combine this with neuron recording to understand how the neuron computation uh, underlying these uh, animal interactions yeah. would you rather fight 100 locust sized cows or one cow sized locust oh i think in general uh, one uh, one cow size locusts would still be quite small in my opinion so i would definitely go for the 100 locusts because if they come as a batch then then i don't really know how to react and instead i'll probably just watch him dance and and being feeling fascinated by you know how they move around and in the end i will just surrender without fightings <laughs>